Hello everyone, Creative Fun here, back again with another vegan video. Uh, this is going to be a short video focusing only on the RB75 or the AGM65 Maverick. And uh, first I want to correct some misinformation uh, that I stated in my previous videos. And I want to also uh, send a huge thank you specifically to Matabubben and Ade09 who's been pointing this out in my comments. Uh, for the two videos I made about the vegans so far featuring the uh, Maverick. And uh, I always assumed that the RB75 was added in the late 80s and 90s update of the Vigan. Uh, I don't know where I got the information, but somehow it got stuck up, uh, stuck in my brain uh, or in my mind. And uh, I've just uh, thought about it as fact. Well, that is absolutely not true. And uh, in fact, the uh, RB75 was implemented in the Swedish Air Force around mid 70s and the late 70s around that time it was procured and then first installed then in the Vigan and later adapted for the A version of the Gripen. Fun fact the latest generation of Gripen fighters in service right now the C version does not carry or does not have the Maverick missile implemented in its weapon systems. So moving on to the second part of this video I just want to talk a little bit about the different uh, variations of the RB75 implemented in the DCS Vigan module. Now there are three missile variants available in this uh, simulator or this simulation. The first one is the RB75 which is the standard AGM-65 Maverick. Uh, the second one is the RB75B uh, which is the AGM-65B if I'm not mistaken. And the third one is the RB75T. Now the T version is just the regular RB75 but with a heavier warhead. T stands for Tung, which means heavy in Swedish. And uh, RB75 and RB75T uh, was definitely missiles that was used and operated by the Swedish Air Force. However, the RB75B was not. Now I was a little bit confused about this, so I posted a question on the Eagle Dynamics forum. And uh, Matt Bubben once again uh, stepped up and uh, provided some really detailed and uh, clear information regarding uh, the implementation of this missile in this uh, DCS module. So I just wanted to share that information with you guys uh, because I was very confused about this and I was not quite sure what the differences between the RB75B and the RB75 version was. So, so I just want to clear that up. So the main reason for the appearance of the RB75B, which is actually a fictional um, designation, there was never any RB75B missile in the Swedish Air Force inventory. Uh, so it's a fictional designation uh, which represents the AGM-65B. It probably would have been called the RB75B had it been procured and uh, implemented by the Swedish Air Force. But anyway, uh, the differences in um, these missiles that are very apparent in uh, the module is that the different types of zoom-in uh, functions. Um, you zoom in a little bit more, it's a little bit easier to find targets with the RB75B. And I, as far as I can tell, and the information I've been able to acquire mean, uh, points to that Ledenek implemented this missile because if you are uh, flying the Vigan in VR, or with a lower res resolution screen, it's very difficult when using the RB75 original missile to lock on. As you know, if we jump into the cockpit here, uh, there is this EP-13 uh, target site, which is basically where you, it's the TV screen where you find and locate targets. Now, uh, in VR and in um, low res on low, low resolution screens, it is, um, it could be, as far as I can tell, it's supposed to be very difficult to locate and lock on targets, especially in further distances. And the RB75B allows for a greater zoom in and uh, an easier to find and locate or distinguish targets uh, on this small uh, video screen site here. As far as I can tell, the um, RB75B uh, is, uh, doesn't have any, doesn't require any additional equipment to be used. It uses the same interface and systems as the RB75. So had AGM-65 been procured or, or uh, you know, otherwise just installed for whatever reason on the Vigan, it would have worked immediately without any modifications to, to the Vigan or the Vigan's uh, tactical systems or whatever. Anyway, uh, so 
that, that was those two things I want to talk about. Uh, as I said, a really short video. I just wanted to clarify this thing. And once again, thanks to the amazing DCS community, always stepping up, giving the good information without being jerks about it, which is very nice. I really love this community. And uh, so there's no prestige here. I made a mistake and I wanted to correct it. And I thought it was better to just to make a separate video about this rather than to add it on to the second part of my uh, is the vegan, uh, or can you use the vegan as a modern strike fighter video, which is coming up pretty soon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.